One Sunday morning, Langton went a fishing in the weir, and he catched a fish upon his yoke. He thought it looked very queer, but when the kind of fish it was, young Langton couldn't tell. He wasn't fast to carry it yam, so he hurried it to the well. Wish the lads had your gobs and I'll tell you all an awful story. Wish the lads had your gobs and I'll tell you about the womb. No Lampton felt inclined to gun and fighting for him was. So he joined a troop of knights that cared for neither wounds nor scars. And off he went to Palestine where queer things in the fell. And very soon forgot about the queer warm in the well. Wish lads had your gobs and I'll tell you it's all an awful story. Wish lads had your gobs and I'll tell you about the warm. The worm got fat and growed and growed and growed an awful size With great big teeth, great big gob and great big goggly eyes And when it neat it crawled about to pick up its sinews If he felt dry upon the road he milked a dozen coos Wish lads had your gobs and I'll tell you it's all an awful story Wish lads had your gobs and I'll tell you put the worm This awful worm would often feed on calves and lambs and sheep, and swelly little bands alive when they lay down to sleep. And when he'd eaten all he could, and he had had his fill, he crawled away and looked his tail ten times through Pensha Hill. Wish lads had your gobs, and I'll tell you it's all an awful story. Wish lads had your gobs, and I'll tell you about the worm. News of this most awful worm in his queer gannons on Soon crossed the sea, got to the ears of brave and bold Sir John So here me come and catch the beast, cut him in two halves That soon stopped him eating bands and sheep and lamb and calves Wish lads had your gobs and I'll tell you it's all an awful story Wish lads had your gobs and I'll tell you about the worm So knew you now who all the folks on both sides of the weir Lost lots of sheep and lots of sleep and lived in mortal fear So let's have one to brave Sir John, kept the bands from harm Save cows and calves by making halves of the famous Lumpton womb No lads I'll had me go, but that's all I know About the story of Sir John's clever job With the famous Lumpton womb